All right, good evening. It's now 6.45. It's Tuesday, January 3rd, 2023. Happy New Year, everybody. And we're here for the Appointments Committee. Um, this meeting is open to the public. Persons who wish to participate remotely in the public forum portion in the meeting may request a remote attendance meeting uh, link by contacting the city clerk. Uh, we have not uh, gotten, as far as I know, any kind of requests, but we do have people in the public who wish to speak. Um, any kind of comments will be limited to uh, two minutes. Uh, we have a couple of appointments, uh, a few new appointments and a few reappointments this evening. Uh, the first reappointment is the Fitchburg Housing Authority, term to expire December 1st, 2027. Linda E. Byrne. Motion to approve. Can we have a motion? Second. And a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Looks like it's unanimous. All right, next, uh, we have a reappointment to the Zoning Board of Appeals, term to expire January 1st of 2027. Uh, uh, Joseph Burns. Motion to approve. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Mr. All those in Yes, uh, Councillor Di Natale. I, I think it's necessary in these meetings to just explain that, you know, it's, we have their resumes. We Which we are, we are allowed to view. Right, and, and I'm, and, but, but you know, even though they're not here, we're just voting for the, we have, these are reappointments. We have, we have seen them operate. We have read their credentials. We have already been through the initial process of their appointment. So it's, it, it's a reappointment, and it's not like we're just glossing over it. There's, there's precedent behind it, so, uh, of, of knowledge of, of their efforts up to this point. So. Thank you, thank, thank you, Councillor Di Natale. You make a very fine point. Um, you know, these people have been vetted. They've been through the, the, the system more than a few times. You know, they've, they've been doing this job for quite some time now. And, uh, you know, everybody, you know, people know them and they know the kind of work that they do. So, yes, when we start talking about a reappointment, you know, it's, it, it's usually um, uh, a given thing considering, you know, they're... they're um, Not always. Well, not always a given. Not only a given, yeah. but, you know, it's normally... Um, you know, um, something that we consider fairly easily considering their service to the city. Yep. All right, so we got a couple of new appointments this evening. Uh, um, we, um, did we vote for Joseph Byrne? I thought we... No. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, no, we didn't. Yeah, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Councillor Squalia. Um, I think we had a motion in the second. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Uh, it's unanimous. All right, we have a couple of new appointments to the Fitchburg Redevelopment Authority. Uh, term to expire July 1st of 2026, Maribel Cruz. Maribel's here with us. Uh, Would you like, uh, you could come, if you want to come to the podium and. Good evening. Hi, Maribel, welcome. Why don't you tell us a little bit, a little bit about yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Don't mean to put you on the spot, but yeah, a little bit. Uh, <laughs> born and raised in Fitchburg, I work for the um, uh, Chamber of Commerce, and I worked previously at the City of Gardner as the Economic Development Coordinator. Excellent. Yes, go ahead, Councillor. <clears throat> so, Maribel, thank you for being here. Thank you for stepping up and wanting to um, sit on a on a board and a commission that's important. Uh, the read. Redevelopment Authority, as you know, is a pseudo uh, partnership here with the city. So there's some city and some private uh, partnership that goes along with that. So I appreciate the expertise and the past experience that you'll bring to that. So looking forward to hearing from you um, and everything that you can bring to help that organization along. Thank you. Thank you. Motion to approve. Second. Okay, we have a motion and second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. All right. Uh, the next is uh, Board of Parks Commissioner, uh, Commissioners, uh, term to expire January 1st of 2028, Colby O'Brien. <coughs> Hi, Councillors. My name is Colby O'Brien. I live at 239 Milk Street. I've been uh, living in the city for a little over a year now. I bought my house last November. I'm the Senior Director of Programs and Integration and Make an Opportunity Count. I've been working in the city for about five years now since I moved here from New York. Um, on the Wastewater and Water Commission, 
I don't know what you need to know. You can ask me any questions. Um, happy to be here, happy to make a difference in the city, so. Councilor Squalia. Just want to say thank you, Colby, for uh, serving on our, our dirty commission and moving to, and Elsa has been now serving on one of my favorite commissions, the parks. So thank you very much. If there's anything that uh, city councilors need to know to share about parks or whatever's going on, please let us know. Reach out, thank you. Motion to approve. Second. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, we have the Executive Director of Council on Aging, term to expire August 24th of 2025. Uh, uh, Jennifer Brennan, yes. Uh, Councilor Councilor Fisher, I need to remove, uh, recuse myself um, for this appointment and the, um, the other appointment. The following follow. appointment, yes. that's fine. <clears throat> Good evening, Ms. Brennan. Hi, how's everybody doing? Good, good. Do you want to tell us a little, little bit about yourself? Yeah, um, so I have uh, been working at the Senior Center for the past five years as the, um, the clerk, the principal clerk there. Um, I have been the temporary director since, uh, I believe, the end of August. Um, I've lived in Fitchburg probably for the last three years on Franklin. Franklin Road. Um, I'm excited to kind of do some new and fun, exciting things at the Senior Center. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Excellent. So, uh, uh, Councilor Squalia. Thank you, Jennifer. Um, from all the seniors I've spoken with, they all love you. Oh, thank and you. And they think you're so great and a breath of fresh <laughs> air and blah, blah, blah. And so already off to a good start. A couple things I have heard was um, there's some... Um, change with the arts and crafts room or the knitting room or something and and they just and some seniors wanted to make sure that they still have the arts and crafts and the nothing knitting. is happening to the studio the art studio room which is a fabulous room if any of you ever want to stop by and look at it they do some crazy and wonderful crafts in there and nothing is happening to the older craft room which holds our like knitting and the sewing machines and kind of those fabric art crafts so we have the art studio which is kind of the painting or the felting kind of newer kind of crafts and then we have the old crafting room which is kind of the more you know knitting those types of things neither one of them are changing I, no, <laughs> those are very um, important rooms to a lot of groups of seniors who have come together and like created strong friendship groups um, and strong connections um, and to take that away would be not logical. <laughs> great, and uh, you do a great job of uh, publishing community calendar events, so everybody knows what's going on, so we appreciate that very much. Yeah. And then the last thing that I heard was, if there's any way that we can get more parking I, at yes. the Senior Center. So, if there's any way we can get more parking, you pull that right out. Yeah, I would love to, <laughs> that is, all, that is a, a big problem, is that the, the parking, especially you know in the winter with the, the sidewalks and sometimes if it's icy, depending on those types of things, um, that's something that I'm definitely trying to figure out different solutions for that maybe other people have talked about or maybe other council on agings in the state of Massachusetts have kind of because you know we're not the only council on aging that's in the center of a downtown area and maybe there's other like busing or something where people can park one place and just trying to figure out different ideas on how to solve that. Sounds yeah. great. Thank you. You're welcome. Councilor Dean Natale. Yeah, when, when I heard that Joan Goodwin was leaving, she was here for so long yes. and I was concerned about you know, keeping the ball rolling and even making improvements. But when I heard that you were interested and you were elevated, promoted, it brought a lot of, it assuaged my concerns because I've heard a lot of good things about you. Thank you. Working as a principal clerk in the building for five years, you said? Yep. So you already know, I'm going to use the term where the bodies are, you already know the finances, the vendors, the programs. So to go from that position to the directorship speaks very highly of your credentials and your, your abilities. So um, I'm very happy that this, in my opinion, is more a seamless transition, yeah. um, promotion with, from within, and um, the senior center is in good hands, and I'm, I'm looking forward to your uh, leadership at that facility. Thank you. Thank you very much. 
Yeah, Councillor Fleming. I, I just have two <clears throat> comments to make. First of all, um, I was pretty surprised to find out that I could actually utilize the senior center. It was yeah. very disturbing to me to find out that I was at that age. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but with that being said, the couple of times that I've had to call to get equipment for my own personal use, you have been very responsive and very quick to find it and call me and let me know it's there. And yeah, that's one of that. our, so, our yeah. most utilized kind of programs yeah, is the yeah. equipment loan program so because equipment you. can be very expensive. Yes, it can. Yeah. So a motion, motion to approve. Motion to approve. Second. second. Okay, we have a motion and second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Congratulations. Thank you. All right, and our last appointment for the evening is the Executive Director of Community Development and Planning, term to expire December 12th, 2025, Elizabeth Murphy. Hi, Elizabeth Murphy, but please call me Liz. Hello, uh, Liz. <clears throat> so I've been working for the City of Fitchburg for 16 years. Um, when I started, uh, it feels like it might have been a million years ago, um, I came in as a program management assistant, um, did several jobs over the course of my career, uh, including housing manager <coughs> and then housing and development director, um, and then interim executive director. Um, I live in Lunenburg. I'm a Fitchburg State graduate and lived in Fitchburg for eight years. Um, after graduating from Fitchburg State, but my husband uh, in Fitchburg, and um, he's a longtime Fitchburg resident, so I certainly have my roots in Fitchburg, and um, it's even though I don't live here, it's still my community. Um, what I'm looking forward to is continuing with the good work that the Community Development Department has done over the last five years, continuing that and expanding on that. Um, I'm a team player. I'm most interested in making sure that Fitchburg shines, not that I shine. And I'm happy to answer any questions. Councilor Dinatelli. I was, I, I, 16 years, so I feel like you've been here a lot longer than that. Cause Some days is, it feels that way. This is my 16th year, and so I remember you, you came on around when I started, but I, I thought maybe you were there for a lot longer, but even still, I mean, you've been, so you've been through, the city's lowest point in Correct. 2008. Yep. Through, you know, right now we're at a we're at a higher point than usual in the last 20 years. Um, you know, this was another role where we lost a very competent individual at the top, um, mm -hmm. and my concern was who's going to replace him. Not so much with his same credentials, but. The, the background of what, what he and the team, which you were a part of, stewarded for the last three or four years in terms of downtown, grant securing of funding. And so when I heard you were interested, I didn't even know you were interested, I was very pleased to hear that you were in the running, if not the person at the time, because I think that this is yet again another seamless transition, not for status quo, but to pick the ball up and run with where we've been going so far. Um, you were director of housing and, and development for how long? Um, seven, eight years. Seven or eight years. Yeah. So, so, I mean, you, you have the credentials, you have the experience in the organization, and you were also uh, very involved with Tom mm -hmm. in all of the efforts that have been going on for the last three or four years. So uh, I think that the department is in good hands under your leadership. Um, and there is no learning curve. Maybe there's a little bit, but you, you've been involved so long with it that um, it should be relatively seamless. Um, I guess the biggest, one of the biggest things on your plate now going forward is going to be who's going to replace you, and, and I know you might have another retirement uh, soon, so there's going to yeah. be some turnover, but yes. long-awaited turnover. Um, so um, hopefully we can... Uh, backfill them and, and, and help you out, so. Yes, thank you. Uh, Councilor Squalia. Liz. Yes. What would you say, uh, looking five years and 10 years into the future, are the major focus areas for the Community Development Department in the City of Fitchburg? Moving forward. Well, yeah, I think that we have to look at all areas that community development looks at. So we need to, we can't just focus on one part of the city. 
but we do have to finish the work that we've started in downtown. So we have to continue and finish that work. We need to expand on that work um, in other gateways, in other neighborhoods. Um, the, the challenges and the, um, the issues are different in different neighborhoods, so we certainly couldn't take the same model that we've been using in downtown and just apply that with a broad brush to other, other neighborhoods. But, but continuing those revitalization efforts in different neighborhoods, increasing our overall housing is, is really critical. Um, continuing the work to encourage housing in our downtown and our upper floors is really critical. We all know the state has a, a housing crisis right now, so hopefully five years from now we'll, we'll say that that has eased, that we've created more housing and that Fitchburg is a place where people want to come and live. But, but in five, ten years, yeah. I want Fitchburg to be known as a place that people come for arts, culture, and recreation. Answer your question. That's good. Okay. Right. Thanks. Right. Excellent. Thank you, Ms. Murphy. Uh, I do believe uh, um, we have Chief Martineau who would like to speak. <clears throat> good evening, Mr. Chairman. Thank you for this opportunity. Good evening, uh, appointment committee members. I come before you tonight to support the appointment of Liz Murphy on behalf of Mayor Dean Natale. It's been my pleasure to work with Liz for the last eight years as Chief of Police in many different roles, whether it was on the NICE Committee or different committees uh, that the Community Development Group uh, fostered. I think it's important to recognize her tenure with the city, 16 years with the city. I believe that institutional knowledge that she has gained over the last 16 years will serve her well in this role as the Executive Director. I think this also sends notice to our hardworking employees that dedication to duty and service and commitment to the city of Fitchburg will pay off at some point. And I think I'm excited that we have someone from within our ranks that's being promoted to executive director. That will go a long way serving notice to our employees that the city of Fitchburg does care about their employees and executive development is possible given the right time. I would hope that the committee supports her appointment this evening and I look forward to working with her in the future. Thank you. Thank you very much, Chief. Move to approve the appointment. Uh, I believe there's an, oh, one another, more person oh, that would like to speak. Yes, Jacqueline Wetchy, Fitchburg resident. I'm also speaking on Elizabeth Murphy. This position should remain unfilled and the money go towards paving our roads. The best way to develop our community is through basics like road paving, not paying salaries. Ms. Murphy has made several poor decisions. Number one, spent money on consultants for low value ideas like a two way main street and restricting private property rights through Chapter 40U. Number two, pushed an arts hub idea that relies heavily on non tax paying entities like the Fitchburg State Theater and that is vulnerable to a recession because it is based on extras, not essentials. Number three, has not pursued common sense ideas that would draw people downtown, such as eliminating parking fees. Just talked about parking around the senior center. Since they can't effectively advocate with the state for basics, we need the entire community development department should be dismantled and their budget should go to road paving. Keep only $100,000 for DEP compliance and put it under another department, saving $500,000, which is a half mile of road a year. Do you have any idea how frustrated people are that our state runs a tax surplus and it goes for everything but the roads? Then the elites pose for photo ops, taking state tax funded grants beaming like like it's manna from heaven instead of money from our own pockets. If you do keep the department, refocus it so we become a pro-business hub. We can attract entrepreneurs by eliminating all municipal mandates, becoming no more strict than the state, ending permitting fees, and appointing board and commission members who welcome businesses instead of hassling them. We can start by giving up our strange obsession with finding small retailers $5,000 for selling flavored palm leaves that are legal almost everywhere else. Unless she is willing to commit tonight to a course correction, this appointment should be a non-starter. Thank you, Ms. Wedgie. Move to approve the appointment. Second. Okay, we have a motion and second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right, stand approved, congratulations. Move to adjourn. Second. We have a motion and second, all those in favor? Aye. All right, we stand adjourned.